Hey folks, this is Gabe with Security Baron, and if you're a techie like me, you may know about mesh Wi-Fi systems or be looking to get into the game. So today we're gonna check out what Amazon is bringing to the table with the Eero mesh Wi-Fi system. In today's review of the Amazon Eero Pro and Amazon Eero Beacon, I'm gonna be going over some pros and cons, its design, its feature set, the installation process, the mobile app experience, before answering a few questions and telling you who I think this system is made for. If you wanna get the full details on the Amazon Eero Pro or Amazon Eero Beacon, head on over to securitybaron.com. There I'll have comprehensive written reviews along with more information on cybersecurity like VPNs and password managers to get you set up in your home. Once again, this can all be found at securitybaron.com. Let's kick off today's review of the Amazon Eero Mesh Wi-Fi system, looking at some pros and cons beginning with the pros. Now, in terms of the coverage, we were really impressed by just the Amazon Eero Pro alone, which can give you 1,750 square feet of coverage. And if you want to add to that, you can add an Amazon Eero Beacon to gain an extra 1,000 square feet. Uh, and just depending on how your house is, of course, constructed in terms of the walls, you're really gonna be impressed, I think, by the Wi-Fi coverage. Uh, we definitely were. And when it comes to setting it up, it was very easy. We had the entire process set up within 10 minutes, use the USB-C power adapter, uh, have that plugged in, use the mobile application, and you can essentially be walked through the entire process after you put your ethernet cord onto the back of this and directly into your modem. So for us, it's a Verizon Fios modem, place it into the back, and that was it. And when we wanted to add devices, it was very easy. We took our Amazon Beacon, plugged it directly into an outlet uh, using the plug on the back, and that was it. All done within 10 minutes. Now the final element we wanna talk about is the intuitive mobile application experience. There you can set up various profiles for your friends and family, and you can actually pause the internet activity, which means you, know, you can prevent them from being on the internet at all. You can decide what they're accessing, so you can prevent them from you know, using different websites for inappropriate or explicit content, and you can even run speed tests and see what devices are being used on your network at any given time, and all of that is a really easy process. Now when it comes to cons of the Amazon Eero Wi-Fi system, I'm going to have to point to the lack of Ethernet ports. Now on the Amazon Eero Pro, you have of course Ethernet Pro that's going to go directly to your modem, and then you just have one other Ethernet port. And on the Amazon Eero Beacon, you have zero Ethernet ports, uh, and you'd like to see those to connect to other devices. So that's our look at the pros and cons on the Amazon Eero Mesh Wi-Fi system. Well, hold on. I hope you're enjoying today's review of the Amazon Eero Mesh Wi-Fi system. If you can be kept up to date on the newest in Wi-Fi systems, smart home security, cybersecurity, and more, subscribe to our channel, Security Baron, for dropping new content weekly. All right, let's get back to the video. Now that we've gone over the pros and cons for the Amazon Eero Mesh Wi-Fi system, let's talk about its design. Now, let's begin with the Amazon Eero Pro, which has a pretty minimalist design. Uh, it's a little bit larger than the initial uh, Amazon Eero, uh, but I like the design. It's got a nice logo here. You'll see on the back, you have the USB-C uh, port for your power adapter. You have your reset button and then two Ethernet ports. Uh, one, of course, will go directly into your modem and your router. So wherever that is located, you'll be able to place this directly uh, below it. It has a little couple of bumpers to be placed down uh, rather nicely. Now, the all white aesthetic means that it's going to be pretty inconspicuous. Uh, we're used to a ton of devices, honestly, in our home, and this is not going to jump out any more than anything else. And I honestly think that's the same with the Amazon Eero Beacon, uh, which has a different design. It's going to go directly into your outlet. So you're going to plug it in. It's going to basically just go up against your wall. And from there, you have your reset button on the side, but it's also not too heavy. It looks pretty good. You have that Eero uh, logo, and I think it's a pretty uh, solid device. And it's going to add, you know, a thousand square feet of Wi-Fi coverage with just this much space. Now, I'm a big fan of the little night light LED light at the bottom, uh, so you know that when it's connected, when it's online. So that's our look at the design on the Amazon Eero Mesh Wi-Fi system. Now that we've gone over the pros and cons and the design of the Amazon Eero Wi-Fi mesh system, let's talk about the feature set beginning with the coverage. Now when it comes to coverage, you know that the Eero Pro itself gets you 1,750 square feet and each beacon that you add after that gets you another 1,000 square feet. Now we reached out to Amazon and essentially there doesn't seem to be a limit to the number of Eeros you can set up on your system. You just have to think about this rule of thumb, which is that each one gives you 1,000 feet and you don't want to put it about 
more than 50 square feet away from the next device. And each of these can handle 128 devices themselves. So you can connect, you know, 128 computers, phones, and things of that nature. However, Amazon states that you should probably put in only about 30 devices uh, for each system if you really wanna get that optimal speed. And speaking of speed, this could handle just about anything we threw at it. With our Verizon Fios, we were getting over a gigabyte per second of download speed, uh, which is really remarkable. So generally impressed with the coverage and speed on the Amazon Euro mesh Wi-Fi system. Now, when it comes to the actual performance of the Amazon Eero Mesh Wi-Fi system, neither the Pro nor the Amazon Beacon use Wi-Fi 6, uh, you know, which is something we would love to see the big players uh, take advantage of, and that just hasn't happened yet. And when it comes to actual performance strength, we were really impressed with the Eero. Uh, we felt that it worked through thick walls and multiple walls better than any other system that we've seen as of yet here at Security Baron. Now, when we're talking about tech specs, you're looking at 700 megahertz quad core processing power, 512 megabytes of RAM, four gigabytes of flash storage, and it's tri-band, effectively doubling the speed on its predecessor. Now, when it comes to actually controlling your Wi-Fi with the Amazon Eero Mesh Wi-Fi system, you have a number of options in the mobile application. You can, of course, set up profiles for each person, and then you can actually pause their internet access altogether. You can set up parental controls to uh, decide on what people can actually look at, and you can even schedule Wi-Fi so it goes off between certain hours of the day. All of this we'll dive into further when we look at the mobile application. When it comes to security on the Amazon Eero mesh Wi-Fi system, there's significant and strong encryption. You're looking at transport layer security, uh, which is a successor to SSL. And when it comes to security protocols, it's WPA2 PSK AES network security. And when it comes to automatic updates, they actually do release the software notes so you know exactly what has happened, what has changed, and you can even toggle on that for notifications so you get a direct message letting you know exactly what security fixes have taken place in any manner. Now, when it comes to additional security elements, there are a number of options. You have, of course, Eero Secure, which gives you parental controls and basically protects you when you browse to websites, uh, giving you a warning that you're going to navigate to a website that is known for phishing or installing malware. And that's gonna cost you $2.99 a month or $29.99 annually. You can also do Eero Secure Plus. Now this includes everything from Eero Secure with subscriptions to Encrypt E for encrypting your data, uh, antivirus software from Malware Bytes, and the One Password Password Manager, which of course we have a full review on both YouTube and our website, securitybaron.com. And that entire bundle is gonna cost you $99.99 annually. Now when it comes to smart elements, you can integrate your Amazon Echo devices with the Amazon Aero system, allowing you to use your voice to control the internet. And that's a look at the feature set on the Amazon Eero Mesh Wi-Fi system. Now let's jump into installing your Eero Mesh Wi-Fi system. You're gonna to wanna to download the mobile application, the Eero app, and make sure you have your modem set up in your home. Now from there, you plug the USB-C power adapter into the back of the Eero and into an outlet. And then you're gonna to wanna to take that ethernet cable, plug into the back of your Eero Pro and into your modem directly. So when you begin the setup process, it's gonna ask you to create an account. So you create an account, putting in your full, your name, mobile phone number and address. And then it's gonna ask you to verify after you uh, agree to the terms and conditions, your email, uh, and you use that number to verify that you know you are a real person setting up an account. And then from there, it's gonna ask you what Eero device you're setting up as the gateway, which is essentially that which is connected to your modem. From there, you're gonna go and decide Eero Pro. You know, we have the Eero Pro here. There's also the original Eero. And it's gonna make sure you have all the elements necessary. So it's gonna be the Eero Pro, the power cord, the ethernet cord, and the modem. So once you plug that in, it's gonna ask you for Bluetooth access in order to connect the Eero devices. Uh, and you're just gonna say, okay. And now it's gonna look for the Eero Pro and it finds it almost immediately. Uh, once it hits, it's gonna say Eero Pro detected. And then you're gonna to wanna to set its location and create the network. So I put mine as office because that's essentially where in my home the router is located. And then you're going to make up your own network name and password. In this case, I call it the SP Eero for Security Baron Eero. And I've made my password Roddy Piper. 
Now, uh, it's gonna set up your network, it takes a couple of moments, and it goes boom, your network has been created. From there, it's gonna ask you to set up another Eero device, and in this case, I have the Eero Beacon that I wanted to set up as my second device. Now, when setting up the Eero Beacon, once again, it's gonna ask you to understand the layout of your home. Uh, mine is a long home, so I wanna place my Eero Beacon as centrally as possible, uh, and in this case, we were really impressed by the fact that, despite the fact that we were near other electronics, uh, even though it was, doesn't want you to be, uh, and there are definitely some large walls in between, um, it really worked admirably. We turned on the night light uh, so that we can automatically have that light uh, when the room is dark, and then we place it into that top location on the outlet so you can actually have something plugged in beneath it, and it worked almost instantaneously. And from there, you're gonna run a quick placement test to make sure that you're getting optimal Wi-Fi signal. And that's it. Once you've done all that, it's gonna upgrade the system. You'll decide where you want it to be placed and you're done. It took us less than 10 minutes to have both our Eero Pro and Eero Beacon set up in our homes. Now that we've got everything installed, let's check out the mobile application for our Amazon Eero Mesh Wi-Fi system. This is where you're not only set up your system, but also interface with those controllable elements. Now, it has a pretty decent score in the Apple App Store with 3.2 out of five star rating. And it does significantly better in the Google Play Store where for Android users, it has 3.8 out of five stars. But let's go ahead and check it out on my iPhone 7 Plus. So here I am checking out the Amazon Eero mobile application for my Amazon Eero Pro and Amazon Eero Beacon Wi-Fi mesh system. Now you can see here that you have a uh, notification immediately that we're online, that my Eero Secure is active. Let's go ahead and look at our internet. Now looking at the internet, you see here that I have the download and upload speeds, and it's pretty quick. Um, you know, it says we can stream in 4K, but let's go ahead and run another speed test. Now, when you're running the speed test, you're just trying to ensure that you have the optimal speed for you to do everything that you need on your system. Now, fortunately here, we have Verizon Fios, so things are very quick. And you can see here that our download speed is actually over 900 uh, megabytes per second, and our upload speed is 812, so things really uh, going expeditiously when it comes to internet. All right, wow, it's even gone up even more. Wow, that's really fast. That doesn't even seem like it's possible. <laughs> 1,386 gigabytes per second. So let's go ahead and get out of here and let's check out Office. Now, this is what I've named the Amazon Eero Pro. Now, the connection for the Amazon Eero Pro is gonna be wired directly to your modem. So you see here, there's actually no devices connected to my Amazon Eero Pro because my modem is frankly in a place that's not particularly accessible. Um, so often I use the other elements of my Wi-Fi mesh system to actually be online. So uh, that's called office. So it's in the space where you no know, one else is essentially, but let's go to bedroom. Now this is what I've called my uh, Amazon Eero Beacon. And here you note that there are two connected devices and it's a wireless connection because it is essentially picking up the internet from the Amazon Eero Pro and giving me that connection uh, in you know, a wider uh, space. So here the LED is light, the night light is on, and I have two connected devices, my computer and my iPhone. And let's go ahead and check out what you can really grab from your system and like the real utility in the eRemote application, which is setting up profiles. And I've set up my own profile here. Gabe, I'm online. And now let's say I wanted to like, you know, cut off my own internet access, or this is something you'd want to do for a child, uh, you know, or someone who's maybe annoying you in the house. You can just hit pause. Now I've knocked out the internet. Uh, you know, you can see it's not green anymore. Uh, no one can be on the internet on this system. I would take out the Apple Watch, the iPhone, everything. So let's go ahead and unpause and now everything is back online. Now you see here below, I can actually uh, pause it at a scheduled time. So I have a few set up. I have bedtime, uh, 11.30 to 6 a.m. Here I can uh, ensure that, you know what, I'm going to bed at 11.30 and if I don't remember to do that, all my internet's gonna go off. Um, so I'm like, oh yeah, be asleep, go to sleep. And then for meditation, you know, come home from work, if I'm home that early, uh, I can actually cut off the uh, actual internet, give myself a second to pause, reflect, maybe cook some dinner, get things prepared. Uh, and that's a really useful element of the Eero mobile application. So let's go ahead and see what that process looks like. So let's set up a new one scheduled. Uh, let's call it uh, morning meditation. So if I wanna do morning meditation, I can start that, let's say 7 a.m. 
and let's have, whoop, nope, I changed it to PM. Let's change it to 7 a.m. to 7.25. Now I've saved that. And now Sunday through Thursday, I have a little morning meditation from 7 a.m. to 7.25. You can jump in your headspace or your calm, uh, take a moment to use one of those apps to help you just like, you know, relax a bit. Now, if I wanna go uh, below that, you'll see safe filters. And here you can actually filter out content that's not appropriate for you or for anyone in your home. So this is really useful, especially if you have children, um, you know, they can have an iPad anywhere, uh, you're not always watching them, but you can go ahead and tap uh, on like the search results itself. So here in search, uh, it's gonna just filter out all inappropriate sites and images um, from Google and Bing search results. Uh, then you can see that you can actually filter out content. So it's gonna block all gambling or dating or profane or explicit content, illegal content, criminal content, um, or even violent content, which is very useful. Um, you know, we're trying to create a nice family friendly environment. So let's go ahead and jump out of here and look at activity, where you can just see uh, your download speeds, the, the scans that are being done for your security, uh, the, the threat blocks, and the uh, privacy and safety elements. And then you can actually go in and check and see what has been filtered out. Uh, so, you know, we don't have any filters set up here. I can do that and I can go ahead and say, okay, now I've blocked all adult content for Gabe. So now there's not gonna be any adult content there. Um, so I'm not gonna be able to actually uh, go on the internet um, and, and find anything of that nature using any of the devices connected to my profile. Of course, um, we go beyond that to our security, or rather our settings tab. In our settings tab, we have uh, the, the name of the actual system, uh, the SV Eero and the Wi-Fi. Uh, we see our password, which I've set to Roddy Piper, rest in peace. And then you can decide what notifications you like, software updates, new devices, uh, things of that nature. So you're never really surprised by anyone or any device that happens to be on your home's um, mesh Wi-Fi network, uh, which is really useful because sometimes we wanna know, hey, who's actually using our internet, especially in a place like New York. So that's our look at the Amazon Aero Mesh Systems mobile application. Now let's answer some common questions people are having regarding the Amazon Eero Pro and Amazon Beacon. And the first question is, is the Amazon Eero Mesh Wi-Fi system secure? And I would say, yes, it's pretty secure. It's using some of the newest technologies when it comes to encryption, and it has nightly automatic updates to prevent exploits. The next question is, does the Eero Wi-Fi system work with Fios, Xfinity, or you know, my internet service provider? And yes, the Amazon Eero Wi-Fi system should work for virtually every internet service provider in the country. So that shouldn't be something to worry about. Lastly, does Eero Wi-Fi support Wi-Fi 6? And no. The Amazon Aero Pro, Amazon Aero Beacon do not support Wi-Fi 6, opting instead to support Wi-Fi 5. And those are just some of the common questions regarding the Amazon Aero Pro and Amazon Aero Beacon. Now I'm gonna tell you what I think the Amazon Eero Mesh Wi-Fi system is made for. I think it's the person who just wants to plug and play, who wants to you know, have a really easy setup experience, plug their Eero Pro into the modem, and essentially be ready to go within 10 minutes. Uh, it's also for the person who's already in the Amazon ecosystem. If you're familiar with Amazon, uh, it's really easy to have your Amazon Eero uh, set up and integrate with the Amazon Virtual Assistant. And finally, uh, I think this is for the person who wants to pay a bit of a premium, but essentially get all of their cybersecurity tools uh, and internet browsing uh, security in one. Uh, and that's with the Amazon Eero Secure Plus subscription, $99 a year. But with it, you get, of course, Encrypt Me, Malware Bytes, and the One Password Password Manager. So that's our look at the Amazon Eero Pro and Amazon Eero Beacon as they make up the Amazon Eero Mesh Wi-Fi system. If you appreciated today's review, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. As always, this is Gabe Security Baron. Be secure.